Okay, Dr. Amaral's somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. at the wrong time, literally. Jack, Dr. Amaral's in there. We need to get her out before time kicks back in. <sighs> we shouldn't wait. Let's go get Dr. Amaral. Before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor. Gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland. I'd fight my way through anything Monarch could throw at me and steal a car. Drive me back to the swimming pool.
Beth and Dr. M are all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I needed wheels. Okay, time to get a ride out of here. Valley parking. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? Oh. And Jack had taken her away from me. Illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're. They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could, but there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amaral doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. I said I'll try. 
evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those prisoners. But she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She had been there the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. They're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? Current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no! Put one of those on! And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm. Until
you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive. Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. About that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I don't care. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If you let Joyce across that bridge, we're being It's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be a fucking crossfire. Alright. Any bright ideas? Let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. A giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? All right, Bobby's the fire back, and we're getting reports of more and more of these Monarch roadblocks. You bastards. HQ, this is Gatekeeper 1. Sibbies are up in arms over here. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it... Got me. Change of plans, the pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. 
I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. We got civvies. Trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hardline. Any means necessary. Okay, good. That's cool. Just gotta make it across the street right now. Okay.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly, 